Today I'd like to take you on a install for the Miller Engineering uh, Rotating Sinclair sign. I plan on putting this with one of my gas stations, with one of the plastic filled gas stations. And uh, first off, looking at the sign itself, uh, it's pretty uh, strong. Uh, it feels like they took kind of two signs and, and glued them back to back. You can see that it just has uh, these two little prongs here on either side. Uh, the rest of the sign, you have kind of a hockey puck almost kind of size piece and you have a, a pole. The pole on the bottom has kind of an eighth inch audio jack and then at the top has the, the little teeth for the, the sign. You also have an adapter that you can plug in. They've got two different locations to plug it in at on the, the side of the piece. You also have it underneath it as well. The uh, sign can be run then through either battery, takes the three uh, AAA, or you can again um, use the adapter and uh, have this go off to your distribution board. Some people also run it off the rails. Um, to me, it's better to do it off the dis distribution board. All right, so getting everything assembled. Again, I always recommend go through and do an assembly first before trying to do any install on your layout just to make sure everything works. This one came from Miller itself, but you know anything can happen in the in the mail and you just don't want to have something break and then you're trying to um, trying to plead with them getting a refund. All right, so on this you have two different settings. You either have your, and it's got a little switch down here, you either have your solid light or flashing. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on solid and let you see that. Rotates around, and again this is just under battery power. And then flashing does that. I think it will be a great addition. I do end up planning on uh, putting it over here. I've got a, a Plasticville uh, gas station and I think it'll it'll go good with it. Either kind of place it over on the side here or over on the other end of the building. But I think it'll add a nice little um, appeal to that, that gas station. Alright, um, with the installation, it comes with two, ins or it comes with some instructions. And the instructions either kind of show you that you can take the piece and, I mean, if you want, you can just lay it on top of the layout and not worry about it. But for me, I like to make it look a little more realistic. So I ended up buying, they have a, a kind of a, a bracket here that you screw into the, the hockey puck, I'll call it. And you have two methods here that you can do. You can either attach and, and just drill a very small hole, just big enough to get the pull through. And you take your, your plate, the puck will be, you know, down below. You end up screwing some screws into the, the puck and then some screws into the, the board, the train table. The other method is a much larger hole that you're going to be uh, using, probably with a hole saw. And uh, you'll, again, attach some screws into the puck and then some into the table, all screws going uh, downward in direction. To me, I think I'd rather go with a smaller hole but you will have to also consider the thickness of your table. If you've got a lot of styrofoam and stuff on top, you might want to end up doing the, the other option. Um, up to you though. All right, so uh, now taking you to the install. Again, I'm kind of leaning toward right over here. I think this will be a good location kind of along the main street that I've got. And um, let's go ahead and start the install. Okay, a little change of plans. So I was looking at uh, my two gas stations that I have, and I have this Plasticville uh, station, and I also have uh, kind of a little more simpler one over here as well. And I kind of was looking at my layout, and from what you can see with my layout, I've got a few signs that are around. This side of the, the layout, there's not as many signs, but then once I get over to this section, I've got a lot more signs. So I kind of thought to myself, do I want to put it at the other gas station? And then what kind of made me also decide it, I was looking at the thickness of my table here. Now Miller gives you the option of drilling or installing two different ways. 
and uh, the, probably the plan B, which was drilling a larger hole and installing, probably would be the best way of installing one for this gas station. But I'm kind of thinking I may just simply want to put this over at the other station. My other station, and if you look at the thickness, you can see I've got probably almost about an inch and a half to two inches right here of thickness. And when you take that into account of your pole and how far down I'd have to have this thing in before it finally attaches to that puck, which would be installed underneath this bottom level here of plywood. You take that into account of the height of the building, and it doesn't raise too much higher than the building itself. So I kind of thought maybe I might want to rethink this. So I was looking at the thickness for this one, and it's about three quarters of an inch um, thinner to get it here. So a little change of plan. So I'm kind of thinking of either going in between the buildings back over here, or maybe over here by the shell truck, which I'll have to go and do business elsewhere. But I think this might be actually a good location for it. I'm also, I also have little kids that would be grabbing things, and this is a little further away for them to have to grab, and I'd hate for them to, to accidentally grab it and uh, break it. So I'm thinking right here might be a really good location for it. So we're going to get started in just a second. All right, so I'm going to start off with drilling a hole from the top down. We're going to try this again. Had to uh, tighten the chuck a little bit. So uh, you want to again drill your hole all the way through. This will allow me to be able to line up the, the hole with the uh, base of the piece and uh, then attach. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove the dust that's there using a vacuum. Next thing I want to do is I want to take the uh, bracket that's here and attach it with those three screws on it so that way I can take the other three screws and I'll screw them toward the uh, top of the table. Okay so I'm underneath my table and I inserted the pole uh, through the hole from above and my plan is to take and attach the base the puck to it and then basically just push it up and then drive the three screws into the bottom. All right, so I have the uh, puck attached up underneath the train table. I actually made this a little bit looser, and I'd also recommend making your hole big enough. I ran into one little problem. The uh, bottom part of the pole has that kind of like hexagon shape uh, plug. You want to make sure that your hole is big enough that that can freely spin. When I first attached it, the, the hole was just enough, and uh, it once I tried to attach the base of it, the uh, sign wasn't able to rotate. So, up above, height-wise, I, I probably would like to have a little higher, but I think for right now it works. It it's freely spins around on its own. To hide the hole, I put a little bit of shrubs there. I've seen some people do more uh, landscaping, or sometimes they make like a, a little like brick kind of looking thing, or um, kind of an island um, underneath the piece. Well the next thing we need to do is we need to attach the wiring to it. All of my uh, signs I've got hooked up into a distribution board which I've got down here. Actually I'm running out of room. This sign actually may be my last one for this uh, board. Um, I do have a second board I will be installing below that. Uh, to do this again we're going to be using this piece here this will attach to either the bottom or the side of the uh, puck and then you'll just simply attach these leads um, and attach a longer cable to the distribution board so uh, then we won't be running by battery power alright so to hook up the wires and stuff I'm using a um, some speaker wire actually this is a 16 gauge uh, 50 foot wire and I got it at the hardware store, it was maybe about five bucks, and I use a, a bunch of this just for all the, the wires um, underneath the table. It's probably overkill a little bit for these signs, but for the price, it works out pretty well. Alright, 
So what I basically did is I went through and I stripped uh, both ends of my wire that I'm going to be using and I'm going to basically just attach uh, the different uh, wires together. Now I was looking at the cable that it came with and it's kind of hard to see but you might be able to see just barely. There's the, the bottom end there has like a white stripping that's or striping that's on it. That I'm going to try to keep uh, together and probably put that in my uh, black um, side on the distribution board. Just try to keep that, uh, that in line with it. I'll do the same thing with the actual speaker wire. It also has that printing done to it as well. Alright, so I went through and attached the speaker wire here um, to the, the last and final contacts that I've got. And I'm about ready to get it over to the uh, puck. I'd recommend that you take out your batteries at this point, make sure that you're not going to have dual power coming to this thing. Uh, I don't know if that'll burn it out or what it'll do, but um, but on the safe side, take them out. And there you have it. She's all hooked up. I think she looks great with the uh, sign. I do plan on putting a few more Plasticville or uh, I should say Sinclair decorations on uh, the, the gas station here. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.